Welcome, I'm Nina Brenner of the product management team of Canoo. In this video, I will introduce you to the basics of the system and communication window, which has been revised for version 14. The window is and will remain the central configuration and operating location for the communication concept. Before I start, a brief explanation of two new features. For large data sources, it's useful to structure the data. The predefined folders, system under test and test environment are new. Assign your elements to these folders to get a better overview of which data is in focus and which elements are useful and important for you. To switch and bind elements together in a comfortable way, so-called scenarios have been introduced. They only affect the predefined folders. Let's start the configuration. On the first tab, you define your system. First, you import the data source. Here you can already structure your system. For example, select your elements, which shall be assigned to the system under test. Add your application models. Define the binding. In this sample configuration, the data source contains already the binding information. The communication objects are bound abstract. Switch to the next tab, the System Explorer. Under System Definition, you can see all your data from the previous tab. Here you see the predefined folders. In the import wizard, I defined that the leader participants are the system under test. If the leaders are available as real hardware in the later development cycle, the scenario can be switched to the environment simulation. And with that, the system under test is switched to real and the test environment remains simulated. At the moment, I don't have any hardware and use the scenario test the tester for a full simulation. All participants are now simulated. The window gives you much more details. You can see, for example, which state the participant has and which participant is communicating with whom. Navigate to the opposite participant via the link. You can see which endpoints belong to the participant and which communication objects are provided or consumed by the participant. The configuration is ready and the measurement can be started. This was a short overview of the central configuration point of Canoo's communication concept in version 14. I hope this quick introduction of the new features will make it easier for you to get started with the system and communication setup window.